Welcome to the first edition of Bus Express TV for all things relating to the New South Wales RTBU bus division. This year there are some big changes on the horizon for Sydney's bus networks. Joining me to discuss these issues, Tram and Bus Divisional Secretary Chris Preston and President Gary Way. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining me. Gary, we'll start with you. What are the major issues facing Sydney's bus drivers in 2013? The issue of privatisation is a very big one uh, for Sydney bus drivers this year. Uh, it's been emphasised in statements uh, uh, that C State Transit CEO Peter Rowley has, has made in recent times, which suggest that the threat there is very real and we're closely monitoring that situation. And you agree with that, Chris? Yeah, we also, in the immediate near future, in May, State Transit want to introduce regional optimised timetabling. This is a concern for the drivers. Obviously because they they have to be moved around? Is that yeah, that's that's the issue. We, we now have 150 drivers which are displaced, which means that they currently work at a home depot and have done some of them for over 30 years. State Transit in the wisdom has decided to say that there's no work at that depot and we're going to be asking them to move on to another location. It is going to be an issue for all drivers. Because they have to sort of uproot their lives and move around? Yes, yeah, so what happens is when you work at a Home Depot, you also get to apply for a roster that you choose. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can work your home life around your roster. This has now been ripped away from them. Yeah. So what's the union now planning to do about this? Well, State Transit have advised that when the process is complete, there'll be an, ex uh, an excess of some 90 drivers uh, that they won't replace. Uh, uh, and that there'll also be an excess of around 38 buses. So the union's uh, calling on the government to redeploy these buses and the drivers uh, to some of these struggling uh, corridors where, where they desperately need extra services. Well, didn't the government government promise that no frontline front line jobs would be cut? Yeah, the Transport Minister definitely, when it comes to transport, she came out some about 12 months ago and said there'll be no cuts to frontline workers. Clearly, some 80 to 90 drivers is cuts to frontline workers. Mm. The Transport Minister also has given a verbal assurance that any excess bus would be redeployed back into the network. Well, clearly it's not happening. So what can members do to help? Uh, we advise members to subscribe to Bus Express. Mm -hmm. uh, that website is updated regularly and if whenever there's new material added to the website it will be automatically emailed to you. We also advise members there will be depot meetings and we advise all that can attend should attend. And of course the RTBU elections are also underway. Mm. Yes, we're approaching what we call mid-term elections. Uh, in March, uh, members will be asked to elect uh, uh, various honorary positions with, within the union. Uh, there'll be the usual uh, attendance ballots in, in the bus depots and, and our members are, are very good at participating in them and we encourage them to continue that participation. But also, there's some very important positions up for election uh, which are elected by postal ballot only. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll receive all, all this information from the electoral office in the mail and we want the tram and bus division to have a strong voice in our national union so it's very important that uh, that they participate in the postal uh, ballot also well thank you gentlemen we look forward to talking to you again in a month thank you, thank you. and of course for more information you can subscribe to bus express <laughs>